Welcome back to a brand new coffee tech break with Jan. Good to see you back again on my channel. I think I got another great video for you lined up, which is gonna make life for you a lot easier. And that is that I will introduce free software from Poly to make sure you can control the camera on an MTR for Windows. So what is happening in the market today is usually when you got an MTR for Windows, eh, there's always those remotes hanging around. Eh? Every vendor has got them, but these are always getting lost. So people take them home. I don't know for what uh, batteries are empty or they end up somewhere in the cupboard and nobody is using the control functions, which are, I think, pretty useful. Uh, and for every person that can be a different setting. Now, what Poly is introducing is free software. Today, I will present you that software. I will show you that using a VNC here on my laptop, a VNC viewer. I will make a connection to my MTR and show you where you can find that software. How do you install it? There's also some uh, guides, some reference guides, which show you some shortcuts to the different features and functions, but I will walk them through. And uh, you can install that software on, uh, if you got a Lenovo compute, if you got a Dell compute or a Logi compute, it doesn't matter. It will use that room control slot. Uh, so there is a, a sort of slot available on MTR for Windows, and we will be using that. So now, if you're currently already using that slot uh, with any Extron or, or Creston or any other integration, you cannot use this. Uh, so be aware of that. There's only one slot available today uh, in the MTR for Windows. So if you don't use currently any integration or room control, you can use uh, this uh, this application now as usual uh, i will jump in my computer and show you the exact interface uh, so what will be happening when you're going to install this software and what features and functions you have available i will walk that all through in a, a step by step guide all right so let's get started here you see the gc8 which is the touch control here of the mtr for windows and you see on the right side, you see the screen. And so we don't need the screen today uh, as we'll be connecting here to the GC8. And I will log in there into the Windows piece of your MTR for Windows. And I will download the software just to show you that. So at the moment, as you can see, there is no camera control here. So there's nothing available. Also during the meeting, you can select a different camera if you want to. Eh? So that's a new feature which uh, came available in one of the latest versions of the MTR for Windows where you can select different cameras, really nice. But there's no way where you can set it to speaker track, group track, or set some presets, etc. Eh? which I will show you today. Okay, so let's, set, uh, let's get started. So let me make the touch panel a bit bigger. So here on the left side, you see the GC8. Eh? So what I need to do is I go into the, the admin interface of, uh, of Windows. So I will be logging in here, go to settings. All right, let me log into that uh, piece. Okay, we go all the way down. We go into Windows settings, right? Then we need to sign in as an administrator. We do that. I think probably these are known steps uh, by most people. Now, what I need to do, and this is like pretty easy, uh, is download that software. So let me open up the Edge browser here. But of course, it can be any uh, browser you have. Now let me make sure I got that visible. All right. So what I did is I made a shortcut here to Poly Supporter. So you go to support.poly.com. You go to products. Let me go down, down, down. We go to video conferencing, All right? And I think it's really nice. They updated the whole website recently. You can find everything here nicely with the pictures. And then all the way down here, you find your different room kits. For example, the focus room kit with P15. Now, where can you find that software? Where you can find a manual? And so I will put those links also in the comments. So don't worry. Yeah. So if I go to guides and manuals, 
And here you see there's a new one, quick tips for the camera control. Here you go. So let me click on that. And what you will see, here you go. You will find a quick reference guide to all the features, functions, and buttons. So if you need to provide a training or you want to provide some reference to your users, and you can easily just print this out and, uh, and use it. So that is available on, uh, under the guides and manuals. Now, if we then go to the software releases, here you go. Here you can find that software here, the Poly Camera Control app. Here we go. Really, really nice. So you see here, it's a 1.0, it's the first release. We got you the software download and the PDF with the release notes. Now, the PDF with the release notes is very interesting because in there, what you will find is the supported cameras. So these are the release notes. You can find the different control options on there. There's an FAQ in there. So I will put a link again in the comments. So don't worry. Also, uh, what you need to install, uh, the different cameras, the tracking options. So I would say just uh, read that through. Uh, and there's always some things uh, which could be handy, some, uh, some tips and tricks. Okay, so let me show you now what will happen. I will download the application, go to download. Yes. All right. Download the software. Let me go to this uh, folder. And this is it. Poly Camera Controls version 1.0. Now, here you go. It's really just a matter of we click on it. Really nice. And now, of course, Defender will kick in. Eh? So make sure you allow it eh? because it's a known application. All right. Please wait for the installation. Uh, yes, uh, as I said, uh, it's really just a matter of getting that application. You can even bring it along on a USB stick, uh, of course, and that's it. That's it. So we got on our desktop now, as you can see, we got a new option, Poly Camera Controls. Now, let me open that one up. Uh, so I've hooked up here to my MTR for Windows. I've hooked up two cameras. And here you can see them. I've hooked up the Eagle Eye 4 USB and I hooked up the Poly Studio E70. The nice thing is, is people just won't, this won't say anything to anybody eh, in the room. So the nice thing is I can put this camera and for example, name this room view or a front room view, eh, just to give it a name. And the other one, the Eagle i4 USB, whiteboard view, just to mention something. So you could just very easily just rename these. And this makes sense when a user walks into this room, goes to those camera controls, and will be able to identify these two easily. Um, now under settings, there's just some uh, debug uh, modes uh, which you can use if you want to provide some information to support. And that's it, it's automatically saved. I click on exit and now we're ready to go. And so what we need to do now is go back into the Skype mode. So that's the kiosk mode for uh, the Teams uh, room. So what I will do is I go here to that user base. I go back to Skype, all right. I log in at Skype and what you should notice is that there is a new option which should become available immediately. There's nothing you, do, you need to do, it. there's no reboot needed or uh, anything on the Teams room side, like backend side or Teams admin center. It's all automatically implemented and hooked in automatically. Here you go. You got the setting now here on the GC8 and also here on my touch panel, which I can show you also a bit later. We got here now that option on the right lower side. <laughs> really nice. So you can see how easy it is to get started with this uh, Poly camera control app free of charge. Uh, and you got without any additional hardware, you can now control cameras. Now, there's two ways to control the cameras. First off, uh, if you are using the cameras now without any meeting, you can go, you, you can always go there. Uh, so as I'm doing now, this will show a second screen 
as you can see with the uh, tracking option and also you find here below if the camera supports it it will give you those tracking options as you see here so i got speaker track a uh, group track and as we got more features and tracking options in the future and uh, they will automatically become available now on the right side, what you noticed is the change that we made earlier with the front room view is now visible right here. So it's now the E70, which we know as a product name, eh, but as a user walking through this room, this makes much more sense. Um, and the other option is the whiteboard view. Eh, so we can change it to the whiteboard view, which is the Eagle Eye 4 camera, which doesn't have auto tracking. And eh? you just put that fixed maybe on uh, on a whiteboard and here you got those ptc controls you can create some uh, presets here really really nice and let's go back to the front room view as you can see uh, it's all very familiar for a user if you click on speaker and uh, you see also a short uh, description uh, of that of that option same thing here so i can Turn off tracking. So if you want to do some manual PTZ uh, with the E70, of course, that is also a possibility. And uh, most of the time, people will really appreciate uh, the uh, the auto tracking, speaker track, or group tracking. Now, then we can exit this. This is without any meeting. Uh, and how do you see your preview? Or well, your preview is visible on the big screen. And uh, so if you want to change it or put a specific preset. You can always see that on your TV UI. You won't see uh, at the camera preview on the GCA. That is not supported uh, within the Teams room device, but you will, as I said, uh, you will see it on uh, the big screen on the TV UI. Now, where is the other location where you can control, control the camera? Well, that is of course during a meeting. And so let's jump into a meeting to show you that. Let's go. So we're starting a test meeting now. And what will happen is, uh, well, let's say you are in a meeting now and you want to change controls or you want to change it from speaker to group track. You don't have to leave the meeting. No, this hooks also up right here. So you see a new option, which also becomes available after the installation of the camera app. And it is room controls. So again, I can click on that. And as you can see, I end up in the same screen here to set both cameras, both front room view or the whiteboard view. And I can easily just play around with that during the meeting. I think really, really powerful. This is available right now on the Poly Support website. And again, I will put some links in uh, the comments uh, to make sure you, you, can, uh, you can find it. Now, today, what is already available is switching between cameras. And I think that's a nice option in the, uh, in the MTR window. So if you got multiple E70s or combine it with other uh, cameras, uh, you can just uh, yeah, switch between them right here and select between those two. I think this is a great yeah, possibility in the MTR for Windows, but that is more like Teams room standard feature, but you cannot change any uh, camera settings there. So really nice. Again, this is available on the Poly Support website. So I will put some, uh, some links uh, in there. Now, if you don't want to use the software anymore, it's the same route. You go here to the administration interface. All right, let me go here into the admin interface. We go back into the Windows interface. Here you go, Skype, and then administrator. All right, we log in there. Okay, so we are now in that administration interface. What we need to do is we go to the camera controls, we go to an install, and the only thing you need to do is you click on camera controls, an install, yes. All right, yes, completely removed. You don't need to like reboot. You can do that, of course. Eh? So now it's removed. And if I then go back into the Skype interface again, all right, well, Skype interface and eh? the Teams uh, interface. All right, and let me show you that. So it's pretty easy to, if you want to use it, if you don't want to use it, eh? that's also a possibility, 
But uh, I know for sure that a lot of people will appreciate that we got this setting now available. Because as I said, those remotes are always getting lost eh? or, or there's something else going on. And here you see, the controls are now removed. So it really nicely hooks up in those room controls uh, setting. Here ends the coffee tech break session for today. So I think I finally kept it today within one uh, coffee. And it is, I think, pretty easy to start uh, using this without any additional hardware. Uh, so here I got that GC8, uh, that touch panel, uh, which comes along with the MTR for, uh, for Windows from, uh, from Poly. Uh, and as you can see, it nicely hooks in here on the right lower side. So it should be very easy to find for your users. Just uh, click on that and it will bring you to this uh, camera control option very easily uh, this is the gc8 uh, as you can see pretty straightforward you got just this panel on the table eight inch and uh, yeah people can just uh, hook this up through a usb cable or using uh, the cut kit uh, so i will discuss in another video there is a an, a cut option now available which you can order from poly so if you don't want to have this connected through uh, usb you can also use that using Cut, uh, which sometimes for integrators makes it a lot easier. But that is also available now from, uh, from Poly. But I will uh, put that in another video to make sure I'm um, staying today within one cup of coffee. Now, again, uh, if you got any questions, put them in the comments. And uh, of course, what I recommend uh, is always just to subscribe to uh, Jan's uh, Coffee Tech channel. Uh, and uh, yeah, I will uh, always get you notified when, uh, when this new video is published. Thank you for watching and always looking forward to see you in the next video.